What is up ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Today we're going to be doing a review over the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus Turbo 2s. Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it. So as you guys probably know if you're watching the video, the Nike Pegasus Turbo 2s are a pretty cool shoe. And let's just say I got them for an amazing deal. I got them for only 25 bucks. Long story short, I went out to Oregon last year for a trip with the cross country team. We had nationals and we stopped at a couple stores to go shop. And so we basically went to the Nike headquarters and right after that we went to a Plato's closet that was only two miles away and you know to our surprise everything in the store was basically Nike and some of the stuff had new tags and everything was so so cheap so I basically found three pairs of Pegasus Turbos for only 25 bucks each unfortunately I was only able to get one but I'm still pretty happy with that so yeah definitely a crazy store I'm guessing they get a lot of the stuff from the Nike headquarters since it is so close so that's probably why they had so much stuff but yeah 25 bucks for these shoes is pretty amazing these shoes came out August 1st 2019 and when they reached Retail, they retail for 180 bucks, but nowadays you can find them anywhere from 120 to 140 bucks on the higher end online. So we're going to talk about how this shoe looks. So as you guys can see, they are a pretty nice looking pair of shoes. They have purple, blue, and black on this shoe, which normally wouldn't look good together, but somehow Nike gets it done with this shoe. As you can see, the back has the point. That's pretty much the famous point of Nike shoes nowadays. You pretty much can't find a Nike shoe without the pointed back, like the Nike 4%s, the Nike Next% percents, Nike Alpha Flies, and some Zoom Flies too also have the pointed back. So it's kind of like Nike's trademark you know for their running shoes the shoe is made out of Nike zoom X foam which is super super lightweight and super responsive it definitely gives you a little bit of a spring and helps you bounce forward this is the exact same foam that the Nike 4% and the Nike next percent use minus the carbon fiber plate obviously a purpose of a shoe like this would mostly be just for training you might be able to get a couple workouts in them but these shoes can't take a crazy ton of miles like the Hokomok 4 or like a pair of Pegasus 38s you know they just weren't made for tons of miles obviously with the zoom X foam if you wanted a shoe that's gonna last you a lot longer I would definitely recommend you get a Nike shoe, you know, that has Nike React foam because that foam lasts super, super long. So like the Nike Infinity runs, the Nike Renew runs, the Nike Invincibles. All the shoes would last a ton more miles than these shoes were. So if you're looking for a long training shoe, this is not the shoe. But yeah, comfortability of this shoe is actually pretty high. The Nike Zoom X foam gives it a super, super bouncy feel, which obviously makes it feel comfortable. The inside features a plate along the back of the heel that actually is supposed to hold your heel in place. And I noticed that's pretty comfortable. I've had a couple pairs of shoes that had this exact feature in it but it wasn't comfortable but this shoe somehow you know definitely gets the job done now one thing i definitely don't like about this shoe is the tongue the tongue is not comfortable at all it's super super thin and super narrow and it doesn't really hold my ankle in place you know that's actually one thing that i look for when i get a pair of run running shoes you know how comfortable is that tongue and how secure is my foot going to be in this shoe that's one of the actual reasons i switched from the pegasus 37s to the 38s because the 37s tongue was just so so small but the 38s tongue was super super comfortable and that's actually not very common for a racing shoe like the next percent c4 presents all have thin tongues when you're buying a shoe to train it's definitely more common for a thicker tongue but remember guys almost everything in this video is personal preference so definitely make sure you try them out yourself you know because you know what couldn't feel comfortable for me could be comfortable for you guys this shoe features a 28 millimeter stack height on the back of the shoe and an 18 millimeter stack height on the front of the shoe giving it a 10 millimeter drop which is not very unusual for nike shoes especially nike pegasus almost every single pair of nike pegasus has a 10 millimeter drop not really sure why but they're definitely not changing that for these guys as you can see on the bottom the tread of the shoe is made up of a bunch of little hexagons and you know the tread does get the job done but it's nothing crazy i wouldn't recommend you run in the snow or ice muddy or trail conditions because you know this shoe would definitely not do the job as where a normal pair of pegasus actually has a pretty impressive tread as you can see a bunch of different shapes you got some lines right here some curved lines got some hexagon squares and triangles on the top of the shoe and on the back of the shoe you got some more lines with you know, deep tread as you can see i can fit my whole fingernail in there and it also gives you a little cup on the heel of the shoe that can actually grip you know whatever you're running on so yeah and these are definitely a lot better to run on those conditions than the pegasus servos i just pulled up the nike app on my phone and i'm going to read a couple things that this shoe features so more benefits an ultralight nike zoom x midsole delivers nike running's greatest energy return yet the engineered heel collar tapers away from the foot for a comfort around your Achilles tendon. An angled heel optimizes the initial touchdown and provides a smooth transition. So like always, a bunch of stuff that sounds good but no one really knows what they mean. They're also a neutral shoe. They are true to size. Zoom X foam makes it very lightweight and very responsive. This shoe obviously doesn't feature a carbon fiber plate and a size 10, which is what I wear, weighs 8.16 ounces. If I had to pick the best thing about this shoe and the worst thing about this shoe, the best thing I would honestly say is the looks. It's a slick looking shoe and it looks very, very good. And the thing that I do not 
not like most about this shoe is a tie between the tongue and the tread of the shoe. The tread's not good enough to do anything else than just running on the road and the tongue just doesn't keep my foot in really so. so we're coming towards the end of the video and like always guys, I can't really tell you guys which shoe to get. It's up to you guys to go out there, you know, try them on, see if you like them. Most places actually have a 30 day grace period where you can take them back if you don't like them. So yeah, definitely make sure to go try out these shoes. If you guys are interested, I would definitely recommend it because you're not going to know if these shoes are perfect for you or not unless you try it. So yeah, that's going to be it for my video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, guys, and stay blessed. Peace.